Good morning, friends, and welcome to the Shir Khan's pre-market update. Uh, what a day it could be for the Indian markets today. A gap up opening on the back of the strong global markets and the decision with the Fed has long awaited taken of uh, tapering of the bond buying program from $85 billion to $75 billion per month. Uh, yes, it was more or less in line with the expectations and we have seen the stocks rallying in the US markets and also the Asian markets are trading approximately 1% up. And coupled with that, yesterday also we saw good rally in the Indian markets on the back of the uh, the RBI's unexpected move of not hiking the interest rates, uh, the repo rates. There were expectations of 25 basis hike in the repo rate uh, perox the uh, among the market participants. Uh, but uh, because of this unexpected move, we saw a good rally in the banking stocks yesterday, and we saw an overall uh, broad-based rally in the Indian markets yesterday. And that rally is likely to continue even today. So uh, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed because the RBI is still uh, waiting for the inflation to come down and possibly has kept the options open of also increasing the rates if the inflation doesn't come down. But the RBI is expecting the food inflation to cool down by possibly by the end of December. Uh, as far as the uh, FIs are concerned, they have been continuous buyers. Yesterday also there were a huge buying of uh, the, uh, by the FIs to the tune of around 1,198 crores in the cash provisional figure and DI continue to be a seller to the tune of around 418 odd crores in the cash market. Uh, we are going to have a gap up opening today, whether we would find resistance at higher levels around 6,350 odd levels or whether we are going to cross that level and make new highs is the question in everyone's mind. And let's have a look at the derivative data. Thank you. Good morning, friends. Let's have a view at derivatives. Friends, yesterday's RBI move of status, of status quo on key interest rate surprised market and it lifted market from sub levels of 6,200. Now, during this period of time, we have seen some sh long positions have been accumulated in the market as around 8 lakh shares were added in open interest followed by a significant increase in the cost of carry. The PCR ratio has uh, increased from 0.95 to 0.99 and also we have seen that the implied volatility has, uh, implied volatility has seen an uptick. Now, talking about the options matrix, friends, RBI event was done, but market was still awaiting the FOMC meet. Uh, market was awaiting the FOMC meet, which was late in the night. And due to which we have seen some unwinding taking place on the call side in strikes of 6,300 and 6,500. And the activity was more concentrated towards 6,400 call option. But in spite of all these things, 6,300 call option continues to stand with the highest number of shares in the open interest. And probably on the lower side, we have seen some addition in 6,100 and 6,000 put, 6,200 put option. Now, talking about the supports and resistance and all the previous data, the FOM, in the FOMC meet, as we have, uh, as you might have already been heard, that the Fed has decided to reduce the bond buying program by 10 billion. So we have seen a broad based broad base rally across the globe, and due to which we might uh, expect a gap up opening on SGX Nifty uh, on uh, Nifty. Now, from positional basis, the support would be 6170 on closing basis. From intraday perspective, 6265 would be the level to watch on as a support. And resistance would be probably 6300, 6400. FIS were net sellers in yesterday's trade. And as we are trading below our weekly VWAP, our bias continues to remain negative. But today, if Nifty closes above this level, then we'll probably, uh, then we'll probably revise our bias and levels. Thank you. Let's have a look at the MID ideas and updates for today. First and foremost, as I already mentioned, that RBI has kept the interest rate status quo and the RBI has kept the repo CR unchanged, saying that it will have a wait and uh, watch policy for, for the inflation data before taking any action going ahead and has kept the options open as far as the interest rates are concerned. The Federal Reserve is trimming the monthly bond purchases to 75 billion US dollars from 85 billion US dollars reflecting cumulative progressive and an improved outlook for the job market data and the committee has decided to modestly reduce the monthly pace at which it is adding to the longer term securities on its balance sheet. The first indication is positive for the Indian IT companies and especially for the companies like the TCS, Infosys, HCL Tech and Tech Mahindra. On the other news update, Power Grid Corporation, the uh, FPO will be listing today on the NSE and the BSE. 
that is on 19th of December. And the, the other news, the Indian government has approved the increasing bilateral currency swap arrangements, uh, agree, arrangements between the RBI and the Bank of Japan to $50 billion from $15 billion. The SDFC Bank has six, uh, approval from the FIB to, uh, FI, uh, PB to increase its foreign shareholding limit as per the prevailing guidelines after it crossed the 49% limit and has uh, and reached uh, on 52.18% on December 13th. So a positive news for HDFC Bank, possibly if it gets an approval, we could see some renewed buying. On the other news update, the government is set to allow the telecom companies to share 2G spectrum with each other as long as there, uh, there is a combined holding, not more than 50% of the total airways allo uh, allotted in that region, uh, a move which will ease the pressure on the operators and possibly reduce the bidding amounts in the upcoming auctions. On the other news, DLF has completed a 70% stake sale in the life insurance JV to Divan Housing Finance for an estimated of rupees 200 to 300 crores. This is one of the moves which the DLF has been taking place to exit out of the non-core assets and positive, positive development for DLF. The coal ministry has cancelled the allotment of a coal block in Madhya Pradesh to Jindal Steel and Power Limited and Monet Ispath and Energy Limited as they have failed to uh, develop it and a positive, a negative news for the companies uh, Jindal Steel and Power. And a positive news for Vokhard, Vokhard Bio AG Switzerland has allocated 23,48,000 ordinary shares for the CHF of, of rupee one paid up each representing 5% of the post allocated capital for subscription at a price of 5.05 CHF per ordinary shares for its IPO. So it's going to list its uh, company, uh, Vokhart Bio AG, and it could be positive development for the company going ahead. On the other um, long ideas for today, first and foremost, we have Gale India. The Gale has doubled the marketing margin on gas from the fields of ONGC that came into the production after 2010 uh, are being termed as non-APM gas and Gale has been since November building higher marketing margin of rupees 10.21 per mm BTU. So action to be taken on the basis of this news is long Gale, the stop loss of 336 and targeting 353 and 360. A positive news for a couple of companies like uh, uh, FRL and uh, the shopper stop where the DIPB uh, uh, DIPP has relaxed the brownfield investment norms. The DIPP has said that the FDI flows can now be used to pick up the stake in the Indian retail companies with an existing stores. So on the basis of this news, we recommend to go long on stopper stop with a stop loss of 378 for target of 398 and 405. And similarly for future retail, the uh, CMP was uh, 69.50 yesterday closing and the action to be taken is long FRL, the stop loss of 68 and targeting 73. That's it, friends, from the MIDA Ideas and Updates. Thanks. Have a nice trading day.